So the life cycle. How do animals get this parasite? So first of all, active eggs, they have to be active, and I'll talk a little bit more about that after, are ingested by the host, mostly via feces, so infected feces. There is one form of coccidia that they can get by eating infected meat, so by eating a mouse or some other animal that has this, this um, parasite. Do you guys know what it is? You guys might be experts from it this morning. Dr. Berliner taught you nothing? <laughs> Toxo, perfect, yeah. So Toxo is the one that can be transmitted by infected meat, but the other ones are typically via feces. So the sporozoites are released um, into the GI system here, and that's where they mature and reproduce. And that's where they cause the clinical illness that we see, the diarrhea. So once they reproduce, it causes the cells to die, and as some of the cells of the GI system die off, that's what causes the diarrhea. So after that, the eggs are passed into the feces and into the environment. So into grass, into cages, wherever basically the animal's in contact with. However, in order for them to be infective, they must sporulate in the environment. So that takes um, the right conditions, the right temperatures, and the right amount of time. So they're not infective the minute they land on the ground. It takes a couple hours, and we'll talk about the timing, um, for them to be actually infective. And then the cycle repeats. A new host will come around, get infected with that fecal material, and it all starts over again. <laughs>